Okay, let's look at an electrical field strength calculation. Okay, so these are very, very similar to um, the force calculations. Field strength and force are both vectors, so they both can have a magnitude and direction. So they both need you to draw a diagram and they both can, you can find the net force from a force diagram. So let's have a look here. Point P has P is between two charges of seven microcoulombs and three microcoulombs as shown in the sketch. Calculate the resultant electrical field at point P. Choose left as positive. So field is um, the force per unit charge placed at that point. So because it's a unit charge, we don't need to worry what P is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use this formula. Okay, first of all, let's have a look here at what's going on with the vector diagram. We're going to get to the formula. But I want to show you why we got the vector diagram like this. Okay, so here's point P, here are my two charges, here are my distances. What's going to happen to point P? Okay, so remember the field is what happens to a positive charge. So if I put a positive charge here, what will this 3 microcoulomb uh, charge do to a positive charge over here? It's going to make this move that way. Do you agree? Okay, this 3 microcoulomb force is going to make P, a positive point charge, move that way. The 7 microcoulomb, this is a positive charge, P is going to be repelled again, it's going to move that way. So what happens is if you have a look here, the field of the 3 microcoulombs is directed that way and the field of the 7 microcoulombs is directed that way because field is based on where would a positive point charge go. So a positive point charge is going to move away from the 7 microcoulomb and it's going to move away from the 3 microcoulomb. But you know you're not allowed to put arrows into a force diagram. The arrows must always come out the force diagram. So the 3 microcoulomb force goes to the left and the 7 microcoulomb force goes to the right. The question told you which direction to take as positive. Okay, So you can already see the net force is going to go to the left. Can you see that? Hopefully. So now we just do the calculations. Okay, It says choose left as positive. So what is the field from the 3 microcoulomb charge? It's going to be uh, kq over r squared. So 9 times 10 to the 9 from the data sheet. It's the 3 microcoulomb charge, so it's 3 times 10 to the negative 6, and it is 20 millimeters from point P. So here we go, 20 millimeters is 20 times 10 to the negative 3, all squared, the squared outside the brackets. You end up with 6,75 times 10 to the 7 newtons per coulomb, okay? Because that's the unit of field, and it will be to the left. So here's the force here, 6,75 times 10 to the 7 newtons per coulomb, to the left. Then we look at the 7 microcoulomb one and we do exactly the same thing again. What's the average field for the 7 microcoulomb? Remember either write it here as E subscript 7 microcoulomb or you write field strength for 7 microcoulomb across the top. So I know what your calculation belongs to. KQ over R squared from the data sheet. 9 times 10 to the 9 is coulombs constant. This 7 microcoulomb is translated to 7 to the minus 10 to the minus 6. 60 moles is 60 times 10 to the negative of 3 meters because SI units only. Put it all in your calculator. This is what you get, 1,75 times 10 to the 7 newtons per coulomb. But it is to the right. So I've got a force to the left and a force to the right. And you can see my force to the left is bigger than my force to the right. So we're going to make a vector sum, yes. What is my net electrical field at point P? It will be the 7 Coulomb force plus the 3 Coulomb force, but the 7, look here, the 7 forces goes to the right and the 3 goes to the left, okay? So you add these two together, changing the sign of the 7 microcoulomb force, and you end up with this value of 5 times 10 to the 7 newtons per coulomb to the left. Okay, because basically this 3 microcoulomb charge that's really close to point P, it's shoving the positive charge that way, more strongly to the left. So you have to remember here that F and E are both vectors and they both have a magnitude and direction, so your answer needs a number, a unit 
and a direction. Okay, and the direction is based on attraction or repulsion. Draw a diagram.